Marketing 2004 course overview video. Welcome to the semester. This short video is designed to introduce you to the course, the content and the expectations for Introduction to Marketing. First, what we expect from you. This is a second year introductory course. It is being run in the first and second semesters of the year for your best possible outcome, to get the best bang for buck for being part of this course, a standard full-time workload for a subject is expected to be eight to 10 hours per week of commitment. Knowing it's the modern era that you have work, life, and other elements in the way, we are looking at trying to get you through this in five to six hours. But to do that, we've set up the best possible package. After 20 years worth of R&D on this, we have a game plan. And that game plan is on the Monday morning, between 10 and 12, there is an on-campus seminar lecture. This will cover a bunch of the marketing content, content that will be relevant to the assignments and relevant to the exam, and give you an opportunity to workshop some of the ideas to, there'll be active learning, there'll be things to do, uh, particularly because what we're keen to have happen is for you to experience marketing, but also share your experience in marketing so we co-create value for the whole of the class. That's the Monday. We have the tutorials set to run for the rest of the week. There is one one hour tutorial for you to attend in the rest of the week. That tutorial is going to take a different approach than what we're taking in the lecture. In the tutorials, we're going to be looking for a much smaller group activity. Each week, once the assessment tasks start, one member or one or two members of the tutorial will be standing up and giving a presentation on the relevant chapters for that week. And since someone will be presenting, someone else needs to be in the audience. So we want you to go to the tutorials so you can have the conversations with your tutor who will provide you an, an additional and alternate point of view and perspective on marketing and to have the conversations with your classmates because the style of activity will be different. Both will be beneficial. Third thing we're gonna ask is that you go for the self-directed learning. We are going to support you with some videos like this before the lectures so that you can get a chance to get across some of the key ideas but I'm also going to ask that you buy the textbook. We've set an assessment task in the tutorials to use the textbook and the textbook chapters, and they are beneficial to you. You're doing Introduction to Marketing. This textbook is a basic boot camp of the ideas, theories, and concepts you need to understand in order to move into more advanced marketing subjects later. So really, three hours of contact, probably about less than three hours until it gets to assignment season. But if you're working at a steady pace over the semester, you're probably looking about six to eight hours contact is what we would expect a modern student to engage. Now, a quick run through for the semester schedule. We'll cover eight chapters by the mid-semester break. We will have five chapters covered by the time the first assessment task is due and very deliberately we will have covered 14 chapters by the time the second task is due. Meaning that weeks 11 and 12 are tailored to go towards the exam. We're going quasi-modular so we want you to be aware up front all of the weeks will count. Everything is going to be up for potential assessment, but also this is the introduction. This is the foundations upon which further marketing studies are built. So we need you to be on game and 
reading all the chapters and coming to all of the classes. The lecture will be on Monday morning, uh, 711 Barry Drive, ground floor. It's the off-campus, on-campus location. Uh, from my understanding, there's still no food vending machine out there, so bring food. You'll need it. The tutorials run from Tuesday to Friday. There will be a tutorial running on a day and time that is convenient to you. Please attend. Select one, attend one, work with that tutorial during the week. Course structure, all up. Four different elements that I want to draw your attention to quickly. The lectures. This is the Monday morning show. It's going to cover the thematic content. It's going to be more than just the textbook, regurgitated and textbook slides. We are going to put in additional elements, materials that we want to give you the opportunity to learn, discover and explore. The venue itself, 7-Eleven Barry Drive, is a flat track venue that suits interactive workshops, small group discussions, and a variety of things taking place in the classroom. So that's there to help you learn more about marketing. In particular, the learning by doing approach and also the co-creation of value and the shared building of knowledge, these are marketing practices. Co-creation of value is a marketing concept and it's a marketing practice. So you're going to have thought integrated learning opportunities where you get to experience the theory in real time as an in-classroom practice. The second expectation we have for you is to attend the tutorials. There's going to be 11 of them in the semester. There's going to be 10 of them that will feature assessment events. They are going to be closer to the textbook chapters because we're going to expect one member of the class to present a chapter. So they're going to showcase elements, ideas and concepts from the chapter during the tutorial. So that way you've got shared knowledge and shared learning. But presentations need audiences, and audiences gain from seeing presentations. So even if you're not presenting in a week, that's not your week off, that's your week on. That's your week where you want to be there, because one of the key parts of this presentation is that the last slide is a challenge question to the audience. And the audience needs to be able to engage, answer and address to support their colleagues. Again, marketing practice, this idea of engagement. These pre-recorded videos, there'll be many of these across the course of the semester. They're going to be a mixture of content summaries, a bit of textbook summarization, but not all of the textbook chapter, because then the tutorial activity would be redundant. You'll also be introduced to ideas that I feel are interesting, useful, or things I'd like you to know about marketing. I first studied marketing over 25 years ago. I've been teaching marketing since the 1990s. And there's a lot of stuff that the textbook will point out, and I can go and give you a little more detail. So you're going to be dealing with concept integrated learning, where ideas will be raised, mentioned, and brought into play, so you have a chance to experience them. Also, anything covered in the pre-records counts towards something that could be used for the exam or the assessment items. With regards to the assessment, we are going to use four different styles of assignment. These are selected for purpose and reason to support your development as a new marketer. So the first task is the fast paced online assignment. This is worth 30% and it will take place during week four. Week four is also when there will be group based activities around the group assignment in the tutorials. So if your plan is to skip week four's tutorials or skip week four's lecture, 
that's a suboptimal plan. Well, the fast-paced online assignment, effectively it's a take-home exam, but if I call it a take-home exam, I can't provide you with extensions due health, injury or otherwise. And what I'm going to use this to do is I want to give you an opportunity to try out exam question style answers. We will then be able to give you feedback from this assessment task and it will cover the content, the first five chapters of the textbook, which is the first four weeks of content. So week four's content is live to be used inside the fast-paced online assignment. We're going to use the Turnitin feedback mechanism to provide you with feedback so you can develop your skills with an eye towards your practice in the final exam. Now on a routine basis we get you to sit final exams, we mark them and you never really get feedback, there's no feedback loop from these on a regular basis. Here we're looking for a feed forward loop where under the university, the ANU's policy on assessments, we are going to give you an opportunity to conduct an assessment task by week four and have feedback to you by week six in alignment with university policy. And we're going to use that feedback to give you the opportunity to improve your performance on the final exam. The two learning outcomes that are of significance here are the fundamentals. So we're going to ask you questions around what you've learnt already in the semester and the marketing orientation and some of the key concepts of marketing like the marketing mix are going to make an appearance because these are fundamental core ideas and I'd like to see how you use them. The second task that you're going to engage with is the marketing audit. This will be in week 10, due in week 10. We're going to get you underway in week four. We're going to do the group formation. Now groups can consist of any size between one and four people within your tutorial by preference, but we're going to be flexible. If you want to do it outside your tutorials, you can. But within tutorial, there will be some additional activities to support, supplement the marketing audit. Additional information on the specifics of this task will come out onto the Wattle site. But the idea here is that it, at week 10 of semester, you will have learnt about a series of marketing functions. And we're going to get you to look at a real world product and describe it in marketing terms to interpret this item in marketing language. So everything that is covered up until week 10 is fair game for discussion in this paper. This also means that concepts that are covered in weeks one to four will also be available for use in the marketing audits because it's a cyclical build process not just isolated one-shot modules. The three learning outcomes of interest here are the integration. How does this, how can you describe marketing as it works here? The evaluation of a case study. So this is using a life, real life, a real product as your case. And the application of marketing to be able to take something that exists in the world as it is and describe it in the language of marketing as a marketer. That's our game plan here. If you do that well, we will know. Third item, the exam. Now we use exams in marketing because quite often as a marketer, you find yourself in a time limited, resource limited situation where you need to respond quickly to a scenario with the resources you have to hand and you don't have an opportunity to go outside for additional materials. The exam is the closest replication we have to the moment in a boardroom meeting where someone says, so, pitch us the product. It's the closest we have to a written version of give us the elevator pitch. And it's there to give you an opportunity to use what you've learnt. 
you know, the best way to engage this exam is to engage the rest of the subject. Come at this as a holistic event. This is the season finale for the marketing subject. So all the loose ends, all the threads woven through the rest of the episodes in MKTG 2004 will come to a culmination in the season finale. I prefer not to have a cliffhanger because I'm not into cliffhangers as an academic. But think of it as everything you've covered so far comes to that fruition in that exam room. And we will provide you with support, training and advice how to get the most out of the exam experience. Lastly, the presentation. One of the learning outcomes we have for this subject is the oral presentation and oral communication to be able to stand and deliver a short, sharp pitch to an audience is a key business skill. A key skill as a marketer is to work within some of the established structures. So we're going to give you a template and we're going to get you to stand up and present the chapter. So you will work this out amongst yourselves in your tutorial, which chapters you're going to be covering, but you're going to stand up for a number of weeks. One member of the class is going to introduce and overview the textbook chapter that's relevant or textbook chapters, one person per chapter for that week of the tutorial. This is designed to help you as the audience to get someone else's perspective on the material that you've read. And this is a key marketing trick. And this is a key marketing technique, is to learn from others, to get their interpretations, to understand how they see the world and use that to inform your own decisions. So the presentation's there to assist you as the audience, as much as it is there to assist you as the presenter. So, welcome to MKTG 2004 Marketing. It is the intro bootcamp. It is the start of your marketing journey if you're gonna be here for the major, or if you've just dropped by for a subject, it is a, think of it as a language subject where you learn to speak marketing, you learn the vocabulary, and you learn the grammar of our discipline.